Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. I just made a really cheesy intro, but if you're wondering, you're watching the Voscoin YouTube channel, I'm here with Tails, and today we're gonna to be benchmarking a NVIDIA 1060 six gigabyte PNY, and it's got Samsung memory, what? Today we're gonna to be running this card through the popular mining algorithms. In this benchmark video, I'm not gonna use stock clocks, but I'm gonna use the same clocks across all the algorithms. And we're gonna just use the nice hash miner. Again, I'm not saying I recommend nice hash. If you actually follow the channel, you know I kinda of don't. That's a whole nother subject. But this keeps it very uniform and simple and something that's very easy for you to replicate in your own environment. So right now, as you can see, we're just on Dagger Hashimoto, AKA Ethereum ETH hash. And on that, we're running 200 core, 500 memory, and we're gonna run that for all the algorithms unless the card crashes, which it shouldn't. And we have 85% power limit. So we could probably drop the power limit a little bit, but as you can see, or I'll zoom in for you, we're getting 22 mega hash a second on ETH hash with this 1060 six gigabyte. Next up, we're running the algorithm that we are the most comfortable with, which would be Equihash, like the hat. So these are the coins like Zencash and Zcash. In that, right now we're pushing about 313 to 315 souls, and in my earlier testing, I saw it actually, ironically, settle on the average of 314 souls, um, which is, if you're not familiar, is basically hashes. I didn't cover this for the first algo, AKF, soon to be dominated by ASIC miners, but again, another, another day, another subject. That's uh, projected to make, you know, almost a dollar, like 96 cents, and on Equihash, per nice hash, it's projected to make 94 cents, and the what to mine calculations for this whole card basically range from a dollar to 90 cents. Next up, we've got Lyra, which actually houses a lot of cool coins that we haven't really covered too much on the channel, unfortunately, but my favorite of them, just based off their mission statement, would be Vertcoin entirely based around ASIC resistance, okay? So ASIC resistance, if you're a GPU miner and you don't support the ASIC resistant coins, don't be mad when there's nothing left to mine for you, okay? I'm just throwing that out there. And as you can see, we average about 28 mega hash a second on Lyra with this 1060 six gigabyte. If you're wondering about the profitability of Lyra per nice hash today, April 19th, it was saying about 88 cents a day. Now we're over here on NeoScript and this is gonna average out to about 805 hashes per second with the current settings. And per nice hash, that's gonna equal out to 86 cents a day. Again, NeoScript is another algorithm that we just haven't shown enough love here, but quite honestly, there's not enough time in the day. I could, I could dedicate my entire life to just covering the Equihash coins on YouTube. I mean, that's how much goes on with these coins. And finally, we have Kryptonite V7 because you know nice hash wastes no time to go and swamp some coins. On that, we're pulling about 470 hashes, which is pretty good, you know, all things considered for this card. If you're unfamiliar, this is Monero and all the coins that are following suit with it. And on that, you know, per nice hash, we're making 80 cents a day. Now, if we click over here to what to mine, you can see that we are pretty much on par or above with every algo. All right, guys, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this benchmark kind of video, let me know in the uh, video comments below. If there's an algo I didn't cover that you want covered, let me know and why. If you're wondering about profitability, ROI, and where I even got this card, well, first off, so you know, right now it's switched back to Equihash, you know what I'm saying? And nice, nice hash is pulling about a dollar a day. So we take a card price, let's say 1066 gigabyte, we'll, we'll look somewhere around like 300 bucks in the current market, 320, 330 probably in the exact current market on this card. These PNY cards, six gigabyte, are actually all available Amazon Prime ship. In addition to that, Raul of X-Ray Servers is actually the one who sent us this card. So thank you to him for doing that to allow us to create this video for you today. He does resell cards and he prefers to be contacted just by email. I'll have it in the uh, description of the video below. Again, I haven't actually bought cards from him, but he did. I can, obviously, he sent this card to me. So I'd recommend using something like PayPal where you get a little bit of buyer protection because I don't want you to be like, hey, Vos, you recommend this dude and he scammed me. And again, full disclosure, I'm not saying that he's a scammer. He's absolutely not as far as I know, but you know, I don't want to set anyone up here. Due to my line of work, maybe I'm more skeptical than some people. I don't know. But I do want to say, if you actually run the numbers and think about this, so we're making a dollar a day, and let's say you pay 300 bucks. Well, it's going to take you 300 days to make your money back. You add in the price of the rig. And quite honestly, right now, 
you know, if you run actual projected out numbers and you don't factor in the fact that you need to hollow your coin to really make your money or maximize your earnings here, which is something I've been preaching on the channel for forever. But, you know, again, you got to do what you got to do with that one year RI is kind of what all the projections look like for mining rigs right now. So this being right on part makes this a good buy considering all those other factors. If you're like, oh, one year RI, well, I used to get three months um i mean awesome man i mean that was then this is now i don't know what else to tell you but what i do want to tell you is to make sure to subscribe to the boss coin youtube channel leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about the video thumbs up share it i'll see you all next time thanks for watching